Act of, 19, of 2009, I'd like to take it out of committee and I could, uh, I would like to pass. Remember that. Let's make it that simple. And I think it's the most important piece of legislation that's come up for uh, at least a decade. We have to expose the central, the privately owned central bank uh, that runs the government. We'll be back in just a moment. Well, Bob, you go right ahead. George, was there anything else you wanted to ask? Well, I don't think Bob really answered the question. Well, you want to know uh, what, what's going to happen? I would think it would be well, very, very... Well, like the golden gold and silver, would it have any impact on the price All right. Of gold? Bob, what do you yeah. think? It would have an impact on the it price will, of gold and silver? What will happen is that we will find out what the Fed was doing if the legislation goes through the way it's been written. And if they do, you know, get into it, they're going to find out that the markets are rigged and all kinds of inside information are going on. I'm sure if it gets passed in the House that the Fed will start uh, destroying records at a record pace. <laughs> and uh, if, the, if the Fed the responsibilities of monetary policy in the United States is given back to the constitutionally mandated U.S. Treasury, then uh, I would think that if the Fed wasn't around anymore, uh, it would make it pretty difficult for the Treasury Department to continue to manipulate gold prices. So I think what would happen is that the minute the House got passed, I think you'd see a favorable reaction in gold. Uh, it was passed in totality that I would believe that gold would go considerably higher. And as time went on, go considerably higher because the dollar is going to fall against other currencies and gold is dominated in dollars. Although I will say every currency in the world has uh, has corrected uh, against gold uh, for the last several years. And so no, no uh, currency, because they're all fiat, for all intents and purposes, no currency is a good place to be. And But if you must, there are places to go to. But if you don't have to, then you should be in gold and silver related assets. And the other thing is, George, logically the price of gold and silver should go up, and nothing is logical. It's all manipulated. And when you think it should go up, it goes down. And when you think it should go down, it goes up. Understand it's all manipulated. You cannot tell what they're going to do. Anyway, God bless them. Thanks very much. I hope that answers your question. And our guest this e evening has been Bob Chapman of the International Forecaster. Bob, Bob, one more time, let's get your telephone number out there for our listeners. That's 800-375-4188. 800-375-4188. And your email. The International Forecaster dot com. Well, this is Dr. Stan. I guess it's been Bob Chapman of the International Forecaster. God bless you. We'll talk to you again next week. Thanks so much for being with us. Okay. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Of course, that's Bob Chapman, and we're living in very, un uh, very uh, unsettled times, very dangerous times. And as we've said so many times before, he who loses the least will win because almost everybody is going to lose uh, something and most people are going to lose literally everything they have because they certainly believe things are as they used to be and they're not as they used to be. 